Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. LED versus OLED. Go. So OLED is organic LED. So my Samsung Galaxy phone uses an OLED. And instead of having a light source behind an LCD, the light source is the LED and the LED changes colors. The advantage of this is that if you want true black, you just don't light up the LED at all and you get no light. So it's very, very black. Um, this is the technology, quote unquote, of the future. I mean, this is the giving you the best video quality, the best image quality, the best contrast ratios, all of those things. The problem is it is very expensive to produce. You know, a regular LED display lights up a liquid crystal display, and that's a old technology. I mean, LCDs have been around for a very long yeah, time. Over, yeah. OLED, where you're you know changing the color of the LED and you're doing those things, gives you the most dynamic color range in terms of contrast and brightness. Um, but there are limitations. You know, your your Samsung phone or my Samsung phone is still very hard to see in broad daylight because the LEDs aren't that bright in an OLED display. Hmm. So they don't work very well in broad daylight. Which is good in Seattle because we don't have a lot of <laughs> daylight. Um, there's also certain parts of the color spectrum that are very hard to create on an OLED display. Purple? Um, it, it is. It's the, the blues that are very hard. And so... I was close. It was indigo, yeah. purple, blue. So the... The technology for LEDs to be red and green have been around for a very long time. And I, you know, if you remember, there's this big movement towards LED flashlights and LED mm -hmm. lighting and white LEDs are very new. We didn't have those as, as kids. I mean, we didn't, I don't know. I mean, I, it's been a while since I was a kid, but I, I guess LEDs seem so new. We all remember red LEDs on all sorts of things. Oh, right. Things. Yeah, like the game components. Right. Yeah. There, there was red LEDs yeah. for a very long time. And then in the late 80s, they figured out how to make green LEDs. And then it was a big deal in the 90s that they figured out how to make blue LEDs. And white LEDs are a combination, combination of, of the three. The three RGB, right. Or at least that's where they originally were. Now we make blue LEDs that are basically just hyper blue. Hmm. So, okay, so organic is the way of the future. O OLED is the way of the future. It's still very expensive. There are still issues with how bright you can make it, but OLED gives you the best dynamic contrast and gives you the ability to have the highest resolution possible because you can make those much, much smaller. And because you're not dependent on the light source being independent of the color, you can make it so that the resolution is is one to one normally you know with an led display a single led may light up a four by four grid of pixels and so it may be responsible for 16 pixels wow huh. well, that, it explains it in a way that i i only thought it was one it was just organic no i mean and the, the I mean, I, you hear that in the grocery store all the time, you know, get, get some organic broccoli or get plain old broccoli. There's, what's... there's very little organic in organic LED. So why do they call it organic? I, I, I will have to look that one up and look it up and, and come back to you on that. But I'm just curious. It It's not like we went out and harvested them from fish. That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> like, you know, did they no pesticides, no herbicides in these uh, EDs? Either way, good explanation.